Hey, it's Doug with Backcountry Pilgrim, and it is way too hot to be wearing a wool sweater. Now, you're probably wondering why in the world would Doug be wearing a sweater on a sunny day in California? Well, the reason is I am actually checking out two new wool products, one of them being the brand new Turn Sun Shirt Sun Hoodie from Outdoor Vitals, and the other being the Alpaca Hoodie from Appalachian Gear Company. The Turn is a merino wool blend. That new blend is what is making the Turn a brand new kind of shirt. It is functioning today as my base layer. The Appalachian Gear Company Alpaca hoodie is meant to be more of an insulation layer, but it has properties that should make it very valuable when it gets wet or sweaty. Now, getting sweaty is something that I deal with whether I am hiking on a sunny day or a cold day with an insulation layer. So either way, I need to know how it's going to perform. The place I am hiking to is called Satan's Cesspool. It's a big rapid on the American River. And when I get there, I'm gonna soak this thing and see how it insulates when wet. Also, I'll find out how long it takes to get dry. All right, well, welcome to this video, Wool versus Wool. Now, let me just tell you right off the bat that the title of this video is somewhat misleading, but I didn't mean it to be. You see, when I first got these two wool hoodies, I thought that I was gonna be doing a comparison video of merino wool, which is what the Outdoor Vitals Turn is made with, and alpaca wool, which is what the Appalachian Gear Company Alpaca hoodie is made of. But what I discovered was that rather than one of them being better than the other, they are both actually quite impressive as different layers. Now I have put both of these pieces through pretty decent stress tests. I'm gonna give you those results in a minute, but first let me show you the new Outdoor Vitals Turn and the Appalachian Gear Company Alpaca hoodie and go through some of the stats and features of each. Then we will hit the trail and see how they actually perform in real life. The Outdoor Vitals Turn is a very popular base layer, and in 2024, they came out with a newer version with some updated materials. The Outdoor Vitals Turn was designed to be a sun hoodie for warm days or as a base layer for colder weather. It has an athletic fit without being too tight or restrictive. So while it is not baggy, which would kind of ruin its purpose as a base layer, it is also not so restrictive that you feel like you're wearing a pair of tights. This design enhances the merino wool's moisture wicking properties. The new turn is made with a new material called new yarn. This is a spinning technology that releases the natural performance characteristics of wool fiber that are otherwise twisted out by traditional spinning methods. Outdoor Vital says the result is performance in their products from natural fibers that can outperform synthetics. So this turn is actually a merino wool and polyester blend, about 63% merino, 29% polyester, and 8% nylon. These materials are engineered for optimal moisture wicking comfort, sun protection, and quick drying performance. The added benefit of the wool is that it manages odor and bacteria buildup, and so you can go longer between washings and go longer on the trail without stinking the place up. The turn has a UPF sunscreen rating of 36, and these materials are held together by a true flat lock seam system, which gives them quite a bit more strength per stitch. The turn in a large weighs 5.4 ounces and runs $85. Turning to Appalachian Gear Company's Alpaca Hoodie, this is a hoodie with a medium to high warmth to thickness ratio designed to be worn with one layer or multiple layers under it. Although it is very soft and pleasant to the touch for a wool product, it is still a bit rough and maybe too much for sensitive skin the fit of the alpaca is fairly relaxed and normal. If you are going to be using it as part of a layering system for hiking or other athletic activities, you might want to size down. I simply followed the directions given my size and it was a perfect fit. Alpaca wool is fantastic for backpacking and climbing garments. The fiber structures allow perspiration to easily escape while retaining wool's amazing insulating properties. 
This will insulate even when it is wet, whether from sweat or from rain. Beyond its insulating and moisture-wicking properties, alpaca wool also is very antibacterial. It does not need to be washed very often. The alpaca large runs 12 ounces, and it is $165. All right, well, now that you have the features and stats on the Outdoor Vitals Turn and the alpaca hoodies, let's take them on the trail and see how they actually do. Now, both of these are fairly new products. Obviously, I'm gonna to want to take them out a lot more before I make a final determination of how much I like them. However, I think today is gonna to be a good day for a stress test because it is about mid-March in California. It's a fairly mild day, which means that I am going to be sweating when I wear these on the trail. But I am also hiking to the bottom of this gorge where I will be coming in contact with the South Fork of the American River, which right now is 100% snow runoff. My plan is to soak half of the alpaca hoodie and wear it back out to see if the claims that alpaca wool can still be a good insulator when it is wet is actually true. Doing so will also soak half of the turn, and so I will be able to check both when it comes to how fast they dry. Now, doubling up these layers is probably not something I would personally do unless it was very cold outside, However, I'm not too worried about the warming properties of either one of these. They're both warm enough to do well, and when doubled up, they're gonna be fantastic for pretty cold weather hiking. My bigger concern with these layers is that the base layer wick moisture off of my skin and transfer it to the secondary layer or dry off quickly when it is exposed to air and sun. When it comes to the insulation layer, I want to see it getting rid of that moisture as well and retaining its insulation properties in the process. I want to see if this layering system can handle moisture from within, from sweat, or without from rain or other soaking. Between my sweating and that American River, I'm gonna find out both today. Well, if you're worried about warmth, the alpaca definitely works just fine. I can tell by the feel of the inside that the turn is definitely taking the moisture off of my skin. The alpaca hoodie is somewhat breathable. I do feel a bit of the steady breeze that has been blowing for a while, but it's definitely doing a lot more insulating than it is evaporating. I would say that if I was at a higher elevation, this would probably be a good three season type sweater. However, when it is even remotely warm, it is a bit too much, at least while I'm moving. So I'm gonna keep hiking like this for a bit, but then I'm gonna take this layer off and see how the turn has worked underneath it. All right, I think that I have sweated sufficiently in this dual layer system. It is time to check out how I do with just the turn base layer. Now I can feel moisture on the outside here. So my sweat is definitely getting through my base layer and onto the alpaca. As far as the turn goes, my skin is a little moist. It's a little moist. You can feel a little bit on the outside. So we'll see how long this thing takes to dry as I'm hiking. So one thing that I think is very telling when it comes to the sweat wicking ability of the Outdoor Vitals turn is that the front of the shirt right now feels very dry. My arms, pretty dry. However, my pits and my back, which are in contact with my backpack, soaking wet. <laughs> so the turn is definitely pulling the moisture off of my skin and evaporating it or passing it on to my insulation layer if I had one on which is exactly what a base layer should do. Well, I was not expecting to make this part of the video for quite a while. As you can see, the river where I was soaking this alpaca insulation layer is right behind me, but already I can tell it's gonna be warm. 
Now that was some cold river water. It is still March in California. That river is made of melted snow. But in less than a minute, I was already feeling the effects of the insulation layer. While this side of the alpaca hoodie was still dripping water, it was already getting warm before I even started climbing this hill. And now that I'm about halfway up it, I can tell you both sleeves feel pretty darn warm. I am insulated even though I am still dripping water off of this sleeve. I did not expect it to work that fast or this well. I don't know if I'm going to keep this thing on for more than a few minutes, to be honest with you, because the cold water is actually not helping me cool down because it's already been warmed up by my body and this insulation layer is already doing its job. Nope, too hot. I'm taking it off. I actually felt the airflow more in the dry side of the alpaca hoodie than I did on the wet side. I don't know if it closed up the insulation such that air did not go through as well. As you can see, the turn is nice and moist. I'm gonna hang this off the pack and give it a dry test. Let's see how it does. All right, well, it has been one hour that I have been hiking with the alpaca hoodie hanging off of my backpack. This sleeve, which was formerly completely soaked and dripping, I now cannot get any moisture out of. I can feel the coolness of the material. It is definitely moist, but I can barely even get any on my skin. So this is drying very quickly. In fact, it's actually drying faster than the turn is, despite it being quite a bit thinner and being right against my skin. Of course, that could be partially from sweat, but I've been taking it kind of easy this last hour. I don't feel like I've built up a lot of perspiration. So both of these layers are performing admirably, and when they are joined together, I think they'll do very well in the cold. They've done fine, even in the heat, but of course an insulation layer is not something I would normally wear unless it was pretty darn cold outside. However, I am definitely sold on the dual wool layers. Both the Outdoor Vitals Turn base layer and Alpaca insulation layer hoodies have done very well on this hike. I'm looking forward to seeing how they do in the winter. But until then, if this video has been useful to you, would you mind giving it a like and subscribe to Backcountry Pilgrim if you are into hiking, camping, backpacking, and the gear that goes with it. Until next time, I'm Doug. Thanks for watching.